down in Yonkers, New York, loves to sing both in and out of the shower. She wants men to know that she really isn't what she appears to be. Please welcome Shoshana Leeser. Hi, Shoshana. How are you? Fine, have a seat. And uh, they voted for which one they thought would be best uh, for. We're going to take a look at all three men again and catch you up today. First, it was Perry. He was born in Philadelphia. He now lives in San Francisco. That comes naturally. I don't plan much that I'm going to say with them. But something happens, I see I can relate to something and make a joke out of it. And uh, I feel that humor fits almost everywhere. You can, can even make jokes in the bedroom. In fact, a lot of the women I go out with laugh in there. <laughs> he, he was raised on Long Island, and he enjoys reading and riding bicycles. <laughs> and then Steve likes uh, surfing and Sunday breakfast cut his hair with a weed eater. Okay, now the audience vote was recorded yesterday. We'll get to that a little bit later on. But now Shoshana is going to tell us who she chose. I chose Perry. Chose Perry. Like right. there was a big choice. Perry's backstage. Let's say hello to Perry Kurtz. Hi, Perry. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Good. Hi, Born Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell us about the date? Okay. We well, away here. First, it was great finding out he lived in San Francisco, 500 miles away. Well, at least you know you're geographically compatible. What? 530 miles 530. away. Oh. So, we set up a date, and he was supposed to pick me up at 2 o'clock. And here's 2.30 and 3 o'clock. He's an hour late. Oh, yeah. I did not know what 530 miles. I mean, you got to give the guy a break. <laughs> <laughs> How come you didn't call? I mean, since you were going to be late anyway. Well, uh, I, would, I drove down from San Francisco on my motorcycle, which was not an easy ride. On a and, uh, motorcycle? Well, I'm, I'm a Mako guy. I can handle it. <laughs> but can you pronounce it? <laughs> well, anyway, you drove down on your motorcycle. What happened? So there? I drove down, and I go to the address, and uh, I had the right address, but evidently I had the wrong apartment number. <laughs> so uh, I jumped on the bike, and as I was pulling away, some guy comes running out and says, Hey, are you looking for Shoshana? <laughs> oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> really? Really? Who'd you think he was? I thought he was her, her boyfriend coming out to kick my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Well, who was this guy, anyway? Yeah, tell him who he was. Yeah. Why don't you? <laughs> Come on, you're pretty free's company. Give me a break. What'd you think of her in person after 530 miles and frustration? Well, I thought she was pretty cute. I was really impressed. Uh, she looked good. She sounded sweet. And uh, she described herself to me. She said that she was on the phone. She said she was kind of busty. And I said, well, you know, I can handle that. <laughs> Here's the big one. Listen up. We got off to a great start. Well, we went to the hotel. Oh, not the hotel. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So you went to the we restaurant. Went, we went to the restaurant, and I got us lost going out there, of course. But all through dinner, in between the nice, serious conversation, he kept making comments about my bust and my body and what he'd like to do with it. And I kept blushing. Yes. Oh, come on. I'm serious, and I'm going, oh, please, you What's know. What's being a wolf? What were you figuring? Well, it was just a joke. Actually, I, I was being poor. I was joking around. You know, I like to push a woman to see how far she'll go before she starts pushing back. I like to see if she's got a strong will, and she does, and she didn't take it, and she said, shut your mouth or I'll hurt you. <laughs> I'll break I your face. It was something similar to that, but I asked her if she really would, and she said no. <laughs> I just made in. Well, uh... We walked around Seaport Village afterwards. It was foggy, and it was kind of romantic. We sat on a bench and talked and cuddled a little bit, and... A little bit? A little, a lot bit. <laughs> and he kissed me. The seals me. were applauding. <laughs> <laughs> the seals were applauding? So we had a nice goodnight kiss, and uh, we talked about wanting to see each other again, and... Uh, <laughs> And what? Where'd he go? Off well, into the night? I was supposed to find him a place to stay, and I sort of fell down on the job. So I just directed him towards Hotel Strip, and he was on his own. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> have a nice time, sailor. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's take a look and see who the audience picked for you, he okay. said. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm, I'm glad of this. I really am. Perry got All it, 42%. Right.
another big shocker. Pay for the date, if not, you're on your own. What are you going to do? Absolutely, I want to How about it, Terry? <laughs> All right. Go spooky. Come on out. Notice the chest toupee. Chuck, look out. Watch out for a foot. Look out. Uh, Ooh. Uh, sit down before you hurt oh, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come out here and strain your back like that. I knew I shouldn't trust him out here. <laughs> the seals were applauding. I'll never forget that line. It was when one stood up and yelled, next. But I <laughs> Thank you both for coming on the show. Will you please keep in touch? Oh, we will. <laughs> I bet you, I bet we never hear from you again. Anyway, thank you. We have a nice gift for both of you. Thanks again. Thank we're going to come right back with another couple. Stay with us.